Let's talk about Mr. Anil, a 54 year old man who came to my clinic looking quite distressed. His daughter was with him, visibly worried. She said, Doctor, my father has been acting strangely for the past few weeks. He keeps on bumping into the things on the left side. No matter how much we call him, he doesn't respond when we're standing to his left. Hey everyone, welcome to this new series. This is Dr. Viji and the series is called as Rare Encounters where we will discuss rarer cases I see in my practice. Today's case is one that genuinely caught me off guard. It started with seemingly simple complaint but would have turned out into the complex diagnosis if I hadn't been paying close attention to one crucial cue. Trust me, you don't want to miss this one. Let's talk about Mr. Anil. A 54 year old man who came to my clinic looking quite distressed. His daughter was with him, visibly worried. She said, Doctor, my father has been acting strangely for the past few weeks. He keeps on bumping into the things on the left side. No matter how much we call him, he doesn't respond when we're standing to his left. It's not like this. We thought it was just age, but now we are scared. You could see worry in the Mr. Anil's eyes too. He knew something wasn't right. He wasn't confused or forgetful. But imagine being in his shoes, constantly knocking into the furniture, filling food because he couldn't see what was happening on the one side. He even started avoiding going out alone because he was scared of tripping or having an accident. So I started thinking, why would someone suddenly lose awareness on the one side of their world, right? At first, I suspected the obvious cause. Could this be stroke? I asked him to perform simple tasks, that is to draw a clock. And what he did next sealed the deal in my mind and all the numbers and the hands were crammed to the right half of the clock. The left half of the clock completely empty. This, my friends, is what we call hemispatial neglect and his brain was essentially ignoring everything on the left. So, my first thought obviously will be stroke, probably in the right parietal lobe because that area controls the spatial awareness. But here is where things took turn. When I examined him further, I didn't find any signs that usually point to stroke. No weakness in his arms or legs, no facial drooping, no speech problems. He was able to walk, talk and think normally, except for his neglect of the left side. Next, I considered the possibility of the brain tumor. Tumors, especially in the parietal lobe, can cause this kind of neglect. When I asked him and his family about any headaches, nausea, vision problems, or weight loss which can suggest tumor but nothing was conclusive. I will admit at this point I was a bit puzzled. I even thought could this be something metabolic like hepatic encephalopathy which in liver failure toxins can build up into the brain and can cause confusion or alter mental stress. But his liver test came back normal. No jaundice, no signs of liver disease. I was running out of common explanation and this is where it became crucial to dig deeper. We sent him for an MRI thinking I need to see what's really going inside his brain and the results they revealed something unexpected instead of stroke or tumor what we found was a small abscess in the right parietal lobe but it is the real surprise it wasn't caused by anything that came up in the usual questioning the abscess was as a result of chronic ear infection yes an ear infection that had silently spread from his ear to his brain over several months can you imagine mr anil had no obvious symptoms no ear pain no hearing loss just strange neglect of his left side. The infection had been breathing for so long that eventually it formed an abscess in his brain affecting his spatial level. The relief on the daughter's face when we finally had a diagnosis was palpable. She said, I knew something wasn't right, but I never thought it could be this. We started him on antibiotics immediately. He is now on the road to recovery. So, this case was a powerful reminder for me. Sometimes the most subtle symptoms like bumping onto things or neglecting half of the world can be key to solving much bigger puzzle. In medicine, we often have to dig deeper, look beyond the obvious and trust your instincts. Thank you for watching guys. If you found this case fascinating as I did, make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow along for more rare and challenging cases. I will see you in the next episode of Rare Encounters.